Hello, I'm Lieutenant Christian Wagner, assigned to the Community Wellness Division of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. The Police Department has been sending officers to an eight-hour training class called Mental Health First Aid. So far, approximately 700 officers have attended the training. Additionally, close to 400 officers have volunteered for a 40-hour training block called Crisis Intervention Team Training. I think it is important to provide a brief explanation of both classes as we move forward. We want all officers to be aware of mental health, substance use, and intellectual and developmental disabilities when responding to calls for service and interacting with the public. Mental Health America of the Central Carolinas has been teaching mental health first aid for public safety, an eight-hour training class specifically designed for law enforcement. The class provides officers with some general information about mental health issues as well as practical skills for us to support someone experiencing or developing a mental health crisis or problem. The 40-hour crisis intervention team training goes into much more detail and brings attendees face-to-face -face with consumers or those with a mental health or substance use issue. CIT certified officers are trained to intervene using their new tools to de-escalate crisis situations involving the population and then in partnership with community providers, divert individuals into treatment services. It is important to note that CIT is more than just training. CIT is considered a collaboration between the community, law enforcement, and the public health care system. These partnerships improve safety in the community and diverts those in crisis from the criminal justice system to treatment and services which we hope will lead to recovery. To aid in program effectiveness, communications personnel have been attending an abbreviated version of CIT training so they are knowledgeable of the program. The public and healthcare providers may call 911 and specifically request a CIT officer to respond to their call. Dispatchers may recognize the need for a CIT officer and dispatch them to a call, or CIT officers may hear a call dispatch that could benefit from a CIT response and add themselves to a call. After this introduction, you will watch a short video. It does a great job of explaining what CIT is and demonstrates our expectations of the program. As more officers get CIT certified, as the community's knowledge of the program increases, and as the CIT program becomes part of the culture here at CMPD, we will see an increase in the likelihood of positive outcomes for the police department, recipients, and the community. Simultaneously, the Mental Health First Aid class ensures that all CMPD officers will possess a basic level of mental health awareness training. I'm Captain Ryan Butler with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department's Crisis Intervention Team. We receive and respond to over 2,500 911 calls every day. And many of these calls are not related to a criminal incident. Often, we are first responders to people in crisis. Mama, mama, mama. Your mother? You want to talk to your mother? These calls may come from a consumer or their family member regarding a serious mental illness. Hey, man. How you doing, man? What's going sir, on today? Sir, you're in the white traffic. Yes, ma'am. These situations may involve substance abuse or people who have emotional, intellectual, or developmental disorders. You have any family or anybody? You want us to call anybody? How about we make a call to some more professionals that can talk to you a little bit more, maybe see about helping you on a little deeper level than we can? Unlike a typical call for service, these situations require a different approach. To help our officers learn how to deal with calls like this, we have a training program for handling situations involving mental illness. It's called CIT, Crisis Intervention Team. CIT is a partnership with the National Alliance on Mental Illness, CPCC, and Mecklenburg County. The training is a 40-hour certification course we offer to our patrol officers so they can develop the skills for dealing with these unique calls. This includes learning to recognize the signs of mental illness. In addition to lectures, panel discussions, and guest speakers, Officers participate in realistic role plays. Here they can practice what they've learned, such as how to de-escalate a crisis. Come on, let's, can, can you come over here with me? Direct orders from the sheriff not to leave until he says so. Okay, well what if I get somebody from his office on the phone? Can you do that? I can do that. How about we come over here and we make a phone call? Okay. okay. CIT officers utilize their skills to reach out to the appropriate resources. Our goal is to divert from jail in the emergency room. Both are costly and often inappropriate choices. Officers completing the class receive continuing education credits from CPCC, as well as receiving an approved CIT uniform pin. We encourage 911 callers with a mental health emergency to request a CIT officer. 
per the CIT SOP, dispatchers, many of whom have gone through a 16-hour CIT course, will assign a CIT officer or request out-of-team CIT officers to assist with these calls. An officer who has gone through this training will be better able to distinguish between a criminal incident and a mental health concern and act accordingly. They will also be given additional time needed to deal with these sometimes delicate and complicated situations. Charlotte Mecklenburg 911, do you need police, fire, or medic? Police, where do you need the police? If you call 911, keep these things in mind. Remain calm and answer all of the dispatcher's questions clearly and concisely. Okay, what is your name? My name is Alice. And what is your son's name? Uh, his name is Sam. Explain that the person has a mental illness, adding any diagnosis if possible. It's my son. He's bipolar and he's having a manic episode. List any medications that the person is taking, or that they may have stopped taking. Is he supposed to be on medication? Yes, he was doing so well. But he's not taking his meds for about four weeks now. He's days. been smashing things in the house, and he punched a hole in the no. wall and broke a picture. If there are any weapons at the location, tell the operator. You may be asked to remove them before officers arrive, if you can do so safely. If you feel threatened, or there is a history of violence, please inform the 911 operator. And what are you wearing? Give a description of the person you are calling about, and yourself, if you plan on meeting officers when they arrive. Be sure to include a description of the clothing that you're wearing. And remember, request a CIT officer. 01-1102. Go ahead, headquarters. If you feel start towards a domestic disturbance. See Alice reference having problems with her son, Sam. He's supposed to be on medication, but has not taken it. Complainants can be standing by. The subject's going to be wearing blue jeans and a long sleeve plaid shirt. Complainants also requested a CIT officer to come out reference her son as bipolar. 10 4. Remember to have nothing in your hands if you come out to meet the officers. Do not run up to the officers because they don't know who you are. When speaking to the responding officers, don't assume that they received all the information that you gave to the dispatcher. This is where CIT officers can put their training to use. Has Sam tried to hurt you, himself, or anybody else? Their interaction with this family in a crisis clearly illustrates what it means to be prepared. They learn to be patient, respectful, and evaluate the person for signs and symptoms. Are there any weapons inside? We don't have any guns, but there's knives in the kitchen. Okay, ma'am, we're going to go in and talk with Sam. We're going to go in first because once he sees the uniforms, we don't know if he'll get upset that you called us, so we're going to check first. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Sam. Hey, Sam, sit, Sam, sit down. What are you please. doing? Did my mother Sam, call you? Sam, please stay seated and listen, okay? Okay. We're here to help you. Yes, your mother called us, okay? Sam. Relax. What? Why are they? You, Sam, Sam. I am not going back on my meds. Sam. You're always Sam. trying to get me locked up. Sam. You need to get checked out and get back I on your medication. Back into the kitchen, okay? Sam, look at me, okay? So what I'm hearing from you, your medicine is making you sick. Uh, give me a little more on that. I, Explain to me. I keep on losing weight and I, I can't concentrate on anything. So. What will make you feel better? I mean, in the past when I've been on it, I've gotten along better with my mom. Uh, Officers provide practical help and advocate for the person when needed. We want to help you and get you help. So will you be willing to go and talk to a doctor? Uh, are you going to put me out? Oh, no, sweetie. I just want you to get help. I want you to get checked out. So you understand that she, she doesn't want you anything but to talk to the doctor. And they also the provide doctor, reassurance, you, encouragement, you and divert to mental health or substance abuse treatment services when appropriate. You. Okay, and the only way we can do that is if you talk to a doctor. You're gonna come with, right? Yes, I'll come with you. Can I, can I come with him? You can come with us, just follow behind us. He's going to the doctor right now. Here's a card with some resource information. And just remember, the next time you call 911, just ask for a CIT officer, OK? Thank you. Okay. Utilizing crisis intervention team training skills can reduce uses of force, as well as costly incarcerations and emergency room visits. This can lead to better outcomes on all fronts. Supervisors should respond to CIT and other mental health-related calls to ensure appropriate officer safety is used. 
Some mental health related calls for service are outside the scope of CIT officers training. Among these are active suicide attempts, barricaded subjects, and hostage situations. CIT officers are not qualified as SWAT crisis negotiators and should never be considered a substitute for accessing the SWAT team. If you'd like more information on CIT training, consult the CMPD SOP and please visit our website.